This is the anatomy and motion shift phase exercise. So we're going to step wide rather than far forward. So you take a step forward, but more so wide. The focus is on the shift of the pelvis from the back leg onto the lead leg as we're committing fully to that lead leg. The key details are keeping the feet straight forward, so not letting them rotate out, which they're going to want to do. The rotation comes from the ankle and from the um, back of the foot rather than the toes. So toes are always going to be pointing straight forward. First thing you want to do is just get into the rhythm of shifting the pelvis uh, towards your forward leg. You want that to come with a bit of a rotation as well, but the knee is constantly just lunging forward. So the rotation comes at the level of the pelvis rather than the knee swooping in. So the knee is just lunging forward. Pelvis is going across as well as rotating towards the back in the direction of the back leg. What you should feel is an opening of the groin muscles uh, and you're just getting a nice stretch there. The next thing you want to consider is the tilt of your pelvis. It's going to want to tilt forward. If you think of your pelvis as a bowl, it's going to want to spill forward. That's what's going to sort of probably happen by default, but what we want to encourage is the opposite. It's sort of tilting back, so drawing your belly button in and almost sort of collapsing through the spine here. And that's just going to change the tension through through the groin muscles and make it more of a three-dimensional stretch. So with the wedging, I would recommend wedging under the big toe, so directly into the big toe, just to bring the ground up to the toes. Then with the smaller wedge, you can do that under the base of the little toe, so not the actual, so this is the little toe at the sort of knuckle of it, the pad of the toes. You're just then pointing directly in and you're just bringing the ground to the toes so that you can keep those glued to the ground while rotating from that point. So as you lunge, you're lifting up the heel gently and then you're externally rotating through that mid and rear foot, through that tibia, through that, um, through that femur and getting that really broad opening of, um, of the groin muscles. The next thing, once you're comfortable with that, doing that nice and smooth opening, closing, trying to get that posterior tilt of the pelvis, your belly button being drawn in, you can add in the arms. So with this, the, this arm is going to reach straight up. So the arm on the same side as the front leg is going to reach straight up. So we're actually going to get the rib cage tilting away from the lead leg. And then the other hand is going to be reaching forward with the palm up, almost like spiraling forward. And so you're reaching, <clears throat> reaching sort of straight up towards the ceiling, trying to get that last centimeter of reach, just reading, reaching straight up for like something on the top shelf. Like this, pulsing in and out of the movement, really focusing on opening this up. So your focus should be primarily here and maintaining so your feet are going to want to slide. So really focus on the feet and then the pelvis. Once you're confident with that, you can incorporate the upper body as well, uh, including the sort of caving in of the spine and the flexion of the spine.